Good morning students. Many examiners prefer to ask some questions on bony pelvis. So today I will discuss some questions and answers on the bony pelvis. What are the bones forming this bony pelvis and what are the joints associated with this pelvis and how to hold the pelvis in anatomical position that we will discuss first and followed by I will discuss some other aspects of bony pelvis. You see this is hip bone of both sides. So these two hip bones in front and sides and sacrum, this one is sacrum and below it is coccyx. Coccyx is not there particularly in this specimen. So here will be coccyx. So these bones, two hip bones, sacrum and coccyx from the bony pelvis. Then what are the joints associated with this? In front, the pubic bones or pubis of both hip bones, they join together and articulate hair form pubic symphysis, which is a cartilaginous secondary cartilaginous joint and on each side the hip bone articulates with the sacrum. So sacroiliac joint, one right, one left. This joint is a plain type of synovial joint. Then sacrum articulates with the coccyx hair forming sacrooxygeal joint. This is again one secondary cartilaginous joint. So joints are anterior one, pubic symphysis, two sacroiliac joint, one sacrooxygeal joint. And next, what, how to hold this bony pelvis in anatomical position? Before holding, we must know some anatomical features of this. And what are these features? Pelvic inlet, what is pelvic outlet and what are the planes of pelvic inlet and outlet. Then we can hold the bone in anatomical position. First of all, let us see the pelvic brim or boundary of inlet of the pelvis. If I draw from posterior to anterior one line, this is the anterior border of the sacrum, this one, first sacral vertebra. This is called promontory or sacral promontory. And from there, if I go along the anterior border of the ala of the sacrum, it goes like this. And here, come to the ilium, this is one line called the arcuate line, then here you will get another line called pectineal line and here you will get another line called pubic crest. So sacral promontory, anterior border of the ala of the sacrum, then arcuate line on the ilium, then pectineal line then pubic crest. This arcuate line, pectineal line and the pubic crest, these three lines together called linear terminalis. So if I draw the same line on this side, it will look in this way. And if I join these two lines both sides, it will form a boundary or a landmark and that landmark is a pelvic brim or called the inlet of the bony pelvis. Then I must know the plane of this inlet and plane of the outlet. This is the outlet of the pelvis. I will tell you what are the boundaries. If I draw a line which extends from the midpoint of sacral promontory forwards and downwards and it touching the upper border of sympathesis pubis, this line makes an angle with the horizontal plane of about 50 to 60 degree, this one and that line is called the plane of pelvic inlet and if I draw another line from the tip of the coccyx behind and touches the lower border of the sympathesis pubis, it also meets at an angle with the horizontal plane and this angle is about 10 to 15 degree and this is the plane of pelvic outlet. So both the plane, pelvic inlet and plane of pelvic outlet is important before holding the bony pelvis in anatomical position. I am just drawing uh, for better understanding if you see here. 
then this is coccyx and this is sacrum so 1 2 3 4 5 so sacral 5 this is sacral 1 and this is coccyx 1 2 3 4 this is coccyx and if I draw a line here from here downwards and this is the horizontal plane this angle will be 50 to 60 degree and if I draw another line from the tip of the coccyx up to the horizontal plane it will form another angle with this horizontal line about 10 to 15 degree and this curvature the sacral curvature will face forwards and downwards so keeping this thing in mind i will hold the hip, uh, bony pelvis in anatomical position and you all know this is the anterior superior iliac spine of hip bone and this is sympathesis pelvis this one so both this anterior superior iliac spine and sympathesis pubis will be in the same vertical plane. This is number one. And number two, the anterior surface of the pubis will face forwards and downwards. And the plane of pelvic inlet, this one, pelvic inlet, that will touch the horizontal plane at angle of 50 to 60 degree. That means it will face downwards and forward in this way and the sacral canal this is sacral canal it will face upwards and the sacral curvature also will look downward and forward so this is the anatomical position of bony pelvis